Hi everybody, thank you for coming. So I, I'm, I'm going to read from the American section of, of the novel. I think it, it explains itself, so I won't give any background. But then, when we got to America and saw all that food, we held our breath and thought, wait, there must be a God. So happy and grateful, we found his discarded pieces and put them together with crazy glue, bought at the dollar store for 99 cents and said, in God we trust too. Now in God we trust for real and began praying again. At McDonald's we devoured Big Macs and moved down fries and guzzled supersized cokes. At Burger King we worshipped workers. At KFC we mowed bucket chicken. We went to Chinese buffets and ate all we could inhale. Fried rice, chicken, beef, shrimp. And as for the things whose names we could not read, we simply pointed and said, we want that. <laughs> we ate like pigs, like wolves, like dignitaries. We ate like vultures, like stray dogs, like monsters. We ate like kings. We ate for all our past hunger, for our parents and brothers and sisters and relatives and friends who were still back there. We uttered their names between mouthfuls, conjured up their hungry faces and chapped lips, eating for those who could not be with us to eat for themselves. And when we were full, we carried our dense bodies with the dignity of elephants. If only our country could see us in America, see us eat like kings in a land that was not ours. How America surprised us at first. If you were not happy with your body, you could go to a doctor and say, for instance, Doctor, I was born in the wrong body. Make me right. Doctor, I don't like this nose, these breasts, these lips. We looked at people sending their aging parents away to be taken care of by strangers. We looked at parents not being allowed to beat up their own children. We looked at strange things like these, things we had never seen in our lives and said, what kind of land is this? Just what kind of land? Thank you. <laughs>